Hi everybody, it's Sandy. It is, uh, what is it? Vlog 22, uh, vlogist something. <laughs> Don't even know the dates. I think it's the 21st. Don't quote me. Haven't got a clue. My days have just been kind of all meshed for the last week. So anyways, Welcome, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm a little crazy, so <laughs> so if you like crazy, you're in the right place. Okay, so how about you grab your coffee and come join me for some fun. Okay, so you've got your cup of coffee. Ah, Bailey's saying hello. <laughs> ah, hazelnut creamer in my coffee. Mm, yum. I need this today. Mm -hmm. It has been a bit of a week as you saw in my last video. I am really sorry about that. You want to hear something even funnier? Here I thought, you know, I, I did that last part of the video, which maybe I shouldn't have because it really didn't show a very good side of me. Um, and I thought, okay, I lost the ending of my video. I got to redo this, yada, yada, yada. When I went back in the bedroom to start editing it all, the same thing happened to me that happened on my tutorial where everything went and um, there was no picture. So I had to redo the whole edit all over again. Funny thing, I found the ending that I thought I lost. Those painkillers were kick ass, apparently, because I ended up on the first edit, I ended up deleting the ending. And it was still in my computer, but when I went to cut some pieces, I ended up deleting the wrong piece. And so there goes, I thought I didn't have an ending. <clears throat> On that note, apparently I wasn't the only one that was having issues with my computer and editing and uploading and everything because um, I, I swear we were taken over by aliens or something because the whole, like all the vloggers everywhere are having issues. So Sarah from Posh Poosh Pooch Designs, Posh Pooch Designs, whoa, say that 10 times. Apparently she was trying to upload her videos uh, a couple days ago and she had no sound. Kawinky dink? I don't know. And then Sandy from Left is Right Crochet just uploaded a video today saying that a subscriber of hers started a channel and she was trying to upload and edit and all this and she was having problems. So... Really? So, I don't know what was going on, but it wasn't just me. I thought, it, like, you know, whatever. But I found out what the problem was. I had it on the wrong setting or something, and so I figured it out, guys. Yay! So, now we won't have any more blunders, I hope. I need more coffee. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Do you remember that movie, George of the Jungle, with Brandon Fraser? Oh. Oh, I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Oh. Wow. Hot stuff. But funny thing is, he kind of went downhill after that movie. Gained a bunch of weight. Wasn't quite so attractive not quite so funny either so that sucked because I really liked him 
So, anyway. Um, so you remember those samples that I showed you that I got? Hang on, I'll show you again. So I got these samples from Sugarbush, which is in Canada. And they sent me a whole bunch of little samples, right? Remember these? Yeah. I figured out what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to send them to Krista and the Secret Yarnery. I think that she'd really like these, seeing that she collects all these samples of different yarns. So I think that's a brilliant idea. I think that she will get some use out of them. And then she gets to see what Canada has to offer. Although she is Canadian, you know, but I don't know if this company was here when she was around, so when she was living here. So I'm gonna send them to her. I thought that was brilliant. I would like to give a big thank you to Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. I'll put her link up here. She sent me a message this morning and said that um, I got a shout out from Donna at Sunshine Leclerc. So I went and watched that video and sure enough, there it was. Thank you, Donna. You're awesome. I'm, I'm so happy that you enjoy my videos. Um, I try really hard <laughs> to, you know, make sure that, you know, I'm, everybody likes me. <laughs> and you do. Yay! <laughs> um, and this isn't a fake, this isn't fake, right? Like, this is me. This is really me. <laughs> Ask George. It's really me. I don't know. Um, so thank you, Donna. That was very sweet of you. And thank you, Lisa, for giving me the heads up so that I could go and watch Donna's video. I've been trying really hard to catch up on all these vlogs, but when you are subscribed to more and more of them, it gets harder and harder to keep track of what you have watched and what you haven't watched. So I get it. Um, speaking of Lisa's crochet, did you see her last video? Link that one here too. Because she did a bag o' day cowl. And it turned out beautiful. She did it with some yarn that she got from a, a friend, a subscriber. And uh, oh my gosh, it turned out so pretty. And this was a cowl that bag o' day that Krista crystal did um like last year so that's making me think i really need to like rewind and go back and check out a lot more of her videos from back in the day because she has some kick-ass videos and i mean like i try to every time she uploads i watch her videos but i haven't really done a whole lot of going back and and seeing what she's done so when lisa uploaded this video i was like oh that's the cowl that i was looking for that i wanted to do and so when i did wherever the heck it is the other cowl that i showed you the other day uh, that was kind of the idea i was going for but i ended up having a v in the back and yeah you know um so I told Lisa, I says, not to steal your thunder, but I have to make that because that is awesome. So what did I do? I didn't bring my yarn. That's what I did. <clears throat> Hold on. So I decided in my infinite wisdom <laughs> to try it in the Bernat Crushed Velvet. And this colorway is taupe. So pretty. It's still pretty, but <clears throat> I 
I didn't put the tassels on it either. Lisa's comes up over the shoulders. It's really nice that way. But because this yarn is so heavy and there's no real structure to it, um, it just kind of falls. I mean, it's still nice. I, I still like it. It's really soft. Um, <clears throat> but it just didn't come up over the shoulders like I wanted it to. And then I did... Ooh, can you see that? I don't know if that's... Is that focused? I did a crab stitch all along the edge, which wasn't in the pattern, but it gave it a little bit more structure because it was just like bleh, and it just, it wasn't sitting right. So it gave it a little more structure on the cowl part. So that was my finished project. But um, yeah, I think next time I'm going to do it with a little bit of a stronger yarn. Although I, what I might do is I might still use this, but put it with a um, super saver or something, just to give it a little more strength or uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> anyway, you know, so that it stands up a little bit better, right? And it doesn't it comes like here not here <laughs> so anyway I tried it so thank you Lisa that was a great idea I just have to kind of tweak mine yours came out perfect mine didn't so anyway I finally got a hold of um, Linda so now I can send out her one-year planner for the, the it, that was the um, the 200 sub, 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 why do I have such a hard time with that word <sighs> sub scribe -er. subscriber I feel like I'm back in elementary school oh geez anyway I finally got a hold of her so I can send that out to her today or tomorrow depending on what the heck I'm doing uh, and it will get out to her within hopefully within a few days uh, so that's that yay finished my list okay um, featured yarn okay some of you may not like this kind of yarn I know I can't work with it but I love the look of it but there are a lot of people out there that can work with this this is from ice yarns and I don't have my glasses it's called primavera now it says to use a five millimeter hook I would use a four, maybe even a three. <clears throat> it's 55% uh, acrylic and 45% polyamide. It's almost got, it's almost like an eyelash yarn. It's two strands. It's got eyelash yarn and then a, a regular piece of yarn a really thin piece of yarn but a regular piece of yarn okay it's so pretty and it comes in a package of eight oops dropping stuff so it comes in a pack of eight and I think that this yarn would really make a cute um, like a, uh, slippers. There we go. Ooh, baby booties. I think this would be really cute for baby booties. Um, I don't, I don't think it would make a good hat though. I think, I don't know. It's, it's got that cottony feel to it. 
So I don't know if it make a good hat, but baby booties, definitely. Um, one of those burp blankets, maybe. Um, although, ooh, now that I think about it, maybe not. Huh. Um, maybe just a little blanket that they can lay on on the floor. It would be good for that. Uh, yeah, so this is my featured yarn. It's from Ice. I have a link down below where you can, it, you can go and you can buy any ice yarns that you so choose. Okay, you don't have to buy what I say. <laughs> you can go to the ice yarns and you can get whatever you want. Okay, so that link is down below. Okay, what else? I think that might be it. <gasps> That's a short video, Sandy. What are you thinking? Hmm. Anything else I need to tell you about? No. You probably heard Odie snoring throughout this whole thing. Again, because she's like right down here. There she is. Yeah, she's snoring. Snoring logs. <laughs> yep. So that's it for me today. Um... Oh, I'm actually thinking about doing, t tell me what your thoughts are on this. <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing a little um, subsection of videos called going down the, the yarny rabbit hole. And I'm going to do my yarn tutorials there and um, any yarn hauls and anything to do with yarn specifically. I will be doing in that. What are your thoughts? Going down the rabbit hole with me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So anyway, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe, like, share, the bell, all the good yarny stuff, and uh, and come join me on tomorrow's vlog. You just never know what's going to come out of my mouth. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Love you all. I will talk to you then. Bye. Oh, food for thought. If you don't want to uh, order yarn, ice yarns through my ice yarn link, but you like the yarn that I'm featuring, get a hold of me, email me, and I will send some out to you provided that I have it in stock. Okay, then then we can just do a mano a mano, right? <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Bye.